unseeking abundance. Abundance and lack are the same thing. They cannot exist without each other. A conversation came up earlier in the week and um, thank you Archana for your idea for this video and thank you to all of my clients that have been bringing this up recently. It seems like it's a really good subject to explore and open out a little bit. So why are they the same thing? Well, if you come from one perspective, it, it's helpful to at least embrace this idea in your mind for a moment in order to understand this, which is simply that um, we are creation realizing itself in a multitude of forms. So however you want to conceptualize that, creation runs through us. Now creation is the potential for everything, right? So you are everything in that sense. As everything, there is no such concept as abundance and lack, although that may be an experience that you have chosen to experience. And the reason for that choosing is again to do with energy. Some people refer to it as karma, but I'm just going to call it energy. The energy you hold is what draws other energy to you and like attracts like. So if you hold the um, position or the energetic position of lack or abundance, then you will draw the same thing to you. Okay, let's explore how abundance isn't necessarily um, as, as um, abundant as you think it is. Because, all right, lack looks like focusing on what you don't have. And it looks like believing you're not deserving. And it definitely comes from a perspective of not good enough. But then from that perspective, you react to that and you swing into the mirror image of it, which is abundance, which cannot exist without lack. Um, let me try and put this a little bit more clearly. When you're in an abundant state or when you are telling yourself, um, affirming to yourself or visualizing, which is often what people do when they're in that position, that means you are saying, I am not this. And in fact, you are everything. You know, you, you are both lack and abundance and everything in creation and none of it. And so, but you've identified with a state, which is a state of abundance. And that state is the um, rejection, in a sense, of lack. So there's an energetic charge around that. Wherever we reject something, what we don't own um, is a reactive position. And so it will draw to it experiences that validate that position. So actually abundance as, let's, let's raise that concept and open it out. Abundance isn't abundance at all, but in fact, it's just acceptance. And I was thinking about this when I was, um, thinking about making this video and I was also considering the times in my life when I've been uh, let's say um, most grateful actually and I don't mean grateful to anyone or anything but just that that sense of gratitude and I'll give that another name in a moment those times have not necessarily meant that everything has gone my way as we consider it. It doesn't mean that every day was a happy day or every moment in every day only beautiful things happened to me. Actually, they were, interestingly, they, there were quite a lot of things happening when I consider those times, sometimes seemingly um, challenging things and um, either maybe I didn't have enough money or maybe there were frustrations or, or something like that. But what I'm trying to say is it was my state that was quite different and therefore how I met all of those events. So what was different about my state was I was in a state of acceptance, which is really receptivity. It's not a passive state. It's an open state of being. And so when you're open, then you are able to receive and what you are receiving is the flow of life through you, including abundance and lack. But you don't necessarily view it like that. It's just weather, if you will. And even that's a bad example because, um, you know, weather's such a loaded thing for us. So to say to yourself, I am abundant, is to say, I lack. 
And in the same way as saying to yourself, I am good enough, is to tell yourself that you're not good enough. And which is why I keep bringing you back to, and myself, by the way, um, the perspective of I am. So let me let me just think for a second if there's anything else I can uh, say about this. Yeah, the other the other picture that came into my head was around the donkey and the carrot dangling from the stick. You know the example of the the donkey and somebody's holding a stick just in front of the donkey with the carrot hanging from it, and it keeps the donkey going. Well. Um, as long as we're seeking something, and in this example, we're, we're seeking abundance, as long as we're seeking anything, it always remains out of reach. And um, you may be able to come up with many examples of how that's not true, where you've been in your mind grateful and um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, focused on positive, you know, thinking or affirmations. You have had nice things happen to you, and that validates the idea that this is all in your head. It's a state of mind thing, and therefore, um, you know, you're going to create more of the same. But I would say then you've placed importance and attachment to external factors, i.e., the abundance, um, on your happiness. It's not quite the state of receptivity or acceptance that I was, I was referring to. So, consider acceptance, and it, as I must stress, it's not a state of passivity, but receptivity. Very, very different. Um, and you can also apply this to ideas of good enough and not good enough, and it will similarly open that up for you and give you a new insight in relation to that. If you have any questions about this, please don't hesitate to um, send me a message and ask me if I can make it clearer to you. And I hope this, this sheds a little light on this subject.